What's up, y'all? It's He, and today I'm going to show you guys how to properly export your music for listening purposes inside of FL Studio. What I'm going to be doing is showing you guys how to get industry standard WAV files and MP3 files and showing you guys why you might not be getting the quality that you want. A lot of people complain that their exports don't sound as good as they did when they were making the beat inside of FL Studio. So I'm going to show you guys how to fix that. So without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. So what I have opened up is FL Studio's export menu and I selected the MP3 and the WAV so you can see the settings. Now, for those that don't know, the industry standard format for WAV files is 16-bit WAV files with a sample rate of 44100. And the industry standard MP3 format is MP3 with a bit rate of 320 kbps and a sample rate of 44100. Obviously, as you can tell, the sample rate for both WAV and MP3 is the same. And in the settings here, the export settings, there's no way to change the sample rate. Um, in most DAWs, there is a way in the export settings, but in FL Studio, that setting is somewhere else. So I will show you that later on. But Let's start with WAV, and again, WAV files, the industry standard format for WAV files are 16-bit WAV files with a sample rate of 44100. So we need to make sure that our WAV files are 16-bit. So if you go over here to the WAV bit depth, make sure that it's at 16-bit. Now, that's pretty simple, and that's industry standard. Now let's go to MP3. Again, the industry standard format for MP3s are MP3s with a bit rate of 320 kbps and a sample rate of 44100 hertz. Now, to make sure our bit rate is at 320 kbps, you take the slider and slide it all the way up. Usually, and from what I've seen, there's nothing higher than 320 kbps. So putting your settings to the highest setting leaves it at 320 kbps. I've never seen anything higher. So usually you're safe to go all the way up. And this is very crucial. You do not want to go any lower than this. WAV files are the highest quality. MP3 files are the lowest quality. And what happens is when you're making beats, you're using WAV samples. And when you export to a WAV file, you're exporting the same thing. So you're exporting you know, the same quality and nothing changes. Now, since MP3s are already a lower format, lower quality format, when you export from WAV samples to an MP3, it's lower quality. But then if your bit rate is very low, the quality will be even lower. Leaving it as high as it can go, which is 320 kbps, will retain the quality. Any lower affects the quality even more. So a lot of people say that their music might be muffled or basically just a lower quality than it was when it, they were inside of FL Studio making the music. And that's because their bit rate is usually too low. So one more time, the industry standard quality for WAV files are 16-bit WAV files with a sample rate of 44100 hertz. To make sure it's um, you have 16 bits, you go to WAV files and make sure it's 16 bits. The industry standard format for MP3s is MP3s with a bit rate of 320 kbps and a sample rate of 44100 hertz. So to make sure MP3s are 320 kbps, you take the slider and make it go all the way to the right and make sure the number says 320 kbps. Using anything lower will affect your quality. Now let me show you guys how to set the sample right now. So if you go to the top left where my cursor is and click on options, go to audio settings. Now right here where my cursor is, it says sample rate. Make sure this is at 44100. Usually it's already set there by default, but if you're new to this and you've never heard of this before, please go into these settings and make sure it's at 44100. Using these settings, the industry standard settings, your quality should be the same as when you are making it inside your DAW. There should be no changes at all and it should not sound different. So I almost forgot to show you guys this, but I'm back in the export settings again. And if you go to the quality section, this can actually change the way your music sounds when you export. Now, 
The resampling section, I set mine to 512. And resampling section is basically say you have a sample inside of FL Studio and you time stretch it. Now FL Studio has to resample it to give you the new version. And this setting changes the quality. I set it to 512, which is the highest one. And then I have HQ for all plugins turned on. Basically it's a high quality mode for the plugins. I don't know exactly what it does, but high quality sounds good. So I leave it on. I turn dithering off because you can do that in the mastering stage if you need to. And I turn disable maximum polyphony off as well, because say you have an 808 and you change the settings so they're not overlapping. If you turn disable maximum polyphony on, it'll turn off the settings you did and cause your 808s to overlap again. So make sure your settings are like mine and hopefully this helps you. That was basically how to properly export your music for listening purposes and how to get industry standard WAV files and MP3 files inside of FL Studio. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more videos. Also hit the bell next to the subscribe button to be notified of when I do upload new videos. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at HeatWaves. That's H-A-T-W-A-V-S. Same as my YouTube channel name. Thanks for watching and I'm out. Peace.